what's up guys welcome back to the channel here we are with another reaction and this one we have israel shatters three world records with cryogenic breakthrough india's boldest space leap and we know israel is the indian space research organization um three world records is insane i am i am thoroughly intrigued uh before we dive into the video if you guys happen to enjoy Please don't forget to subscribe, get a bit of thumbs up, and let's see what world records y'all breaking. Israel just shattered global records. Not one, not two, but three world records. In a world where cryogenic tech was once denied to India, the Indian Space Research Organization not only built its own, but set three world records in the process. While most countries took decades to master cryogenic propulsion, ISRO did it in just over two years. With three engines, one shot, one- Let me say most countries took decades what ISRO managed to do in just two years. Let me rewind, make sure that's what I heard. In just over two years, just over with two three engines, cryogenic propulsion, ISRO did it. While most countries took decades Damn. to master cryogenic propulsion, ISRO did it in just over two years. Wow. With three engines, one shot, one flawless launch. And let me tell you, you're hearing this first exclusively on AIM TV. Let's break it down for That's you. Crazy. World record number one. Most countries, they built 10 plus cryogenic engines mm -hmm. before flying one. India, just three. Two for testing, one for flight. And it hey. worked. That's when you know you're confident. That's, that's when you know you got confidence. These, these, these countries, they need to build 10. They need before they willing to test. We're going to make three. Because we know that it's going to work. We are only going to make three. Only two for testing and one for actual fight. And they pulled it off. That's that worked be. perfectly in its very first attempt itself. World record number two. The global average to go from engine development to flight 42 to 72 months. Okay. Israel, 28 months flat. Oh with God. technology that the world just refused to share. But India built it, tested it, and launched it all on its own. Faster than anyone else ever in the world. Over a year faster, bro. Like, nah, y'all are like, the Israel, in Israel, they are flying, bro. They brains are absolute the highest powered computers on earth to do this in such fast times is crazy. World record number three. Cryogenic stage testing usually takes six to seven months. Okay. Israel pulled it off in just 34 days. A feat that stunned experts worldwide. And one that, wow. as the Israel team said, may mm. never be broken for the next hundred years even. But how is it taking other countries six to seven months with Israel figured out how to do it 34 days. Bro, Israel is not playing a round, bro. And just imagine if they had the resources that NASA had, bro. Israel might have had people living on another planet at this point. <laughs> so let me tell you, this is not just about records. It's about self-reliance, grit, vision. This cryogenic stage now powers India's most complex and heaviest rocket, the GSLV Mark III, which delivered the Chandrayaan-3 lander near the moon's south pole in 2023, making India the first country in the world to land there. And it did so entirely in autonomous mode with uh, onboard wow. cameras, sensors, algorithms, and an indigenous 32-bit chip made right here in India, in Bharat. As far as I'm concerned, man, I'm overjoyed. Don't forget to share this video with a fellow space enthusiast. Yeah, and of course, tell us in the comments, how did you like this video? Make the answers long. We want to talk, we want to discuss. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because we bring for you real grassroots Indian success stories of tech and AI. Because think AI, think AIM. Nah, that's truly, truly insane. Like I am absolutely baffled and in disbelief, bro. Oh, uh, damn. That's all we have for that. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Israel is just killing right now. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Get a video a thumbs up. Check out the text. I'll see y'all next time.